Those in charge of the newspapers should really consider what makes something newsworthy and publishable for their greater audience. Why are we exposed to irrelevant information in news when important and relevant news can easily take its place? This article that was found on NBC Connecticut's website is about a stolen truck that was carrying 180,000 eggs in Florida. Why do we care about Florida's egg truck being stolen? Nothing in this article affects our lives in any way. It is irrelevant to our lives and even in our state. This article was found on the Connecticut Post's website. It talks about a program that plans on expanding pre-kindergarten in our state. Our community should be hearing news like this that can affect our families and friends. This is a hopeful news article and it strays away from the disastrous news out there. How does it affect your life? Like what kind of stories affect your life? Um, mostly local stuff, I guess. I mean, I'm affected down the world news, mm -hmm. but not as much as the local news. Are you from Bridgeport? No, Trumbull. Trumbull? Mm -hmm. Do they have their own newspaper? We do. It's like an online newspaper now. And have you seen any art articles published in the Trumbull newspaper that you're like, why is this in the paper? Like, I don't really care about it. Sure. It's a lot of, um, like, arguing between the local politicians. Oh, so, like, debate? Yeah. So you don't like politics? This article, which was featured on the New Haven Register's website, is a good example of irrelevant information that has been broadcasted to a wider audience. This article is not breaking news or hard news that must be known by all Connecticut citizens, and a much more relevant article could easily replace it. This is an example of a relevant news story. This article was featured on the Connecticut Post website and addresses the greater community. This article focuses on the rebuilding of Harding High School where the General Electric buildings once stood. It affects students, parents, teachers, and educational staff within the Bridgeport school, school system. This could easily replace the sandwich story. Okay, um, do you think news affects you personally, like everyday news? Yeah. Why or why not? Yeah, because you know, the news always affects me, the weather, so many bunch of different things, you know, especially if you're into like stocks and stuff like that. Whatever you do, it should be short because um, people's attention spans are becoming shorter and um, it, it just has to be right to the point and they have to know right away and just the headline why it's going to be important to them. I mean, I, I disagree. Though. I was actually reading your paper um, and I was reading an article about uh, it was skinny people. No, the reason I actually liked it is because I can kind of relate to it. And it's like, oh. you don't necessarily know all of uh, your uh, demographic here at Uzatonic. A lot of them do live in Bridgeport. <laughs> Maybe they do live next to somebody who's hoping to, like, get a flock of chickens. And, like, you know, that, I, I'd be pissed off, to be completely honest. Like, I'd relate to that story. And, you know, I think, I think more so, why would I care? But I understand that other people are going to be interested in that. Mm -hmm. And it really is all about the demographic you want to go for. Like as a whole, right? which is kind of important to choose. You kind of like, want to target people. You can't just target who's atomic students in general because we're so diverse. Yeah. There's old ones, young ones, you know. You should probably go for the young people. people, people Actually, the old who, people who live in Bridgeport, people who live in Norwalk, yeah. people who live in Trumbull. You know, we got a vast amount of people. And so when you do pick your gender. Yeah, yeah, true, true. I would um, I'd talk a little bit more about sports just because that's something the average guy can keep a hold down a conversation. It's something that they're willing to read a little bit about. Yeah, I'm, uh, our attention span also, you know, like when it's yeah, exciting I mean, us, you don't even need to. Us, yeah. You know, it, it, we, our attention span, you know, goes out a little bit more than you know. Absolutely. If it, it it's pertinent, but you know, it's just really dragging. Well, yeah, just, you just got to accept that not everybody's going to read it, and it's like, hopefully it'll help the people who do, yeah. and that has to be enough for you.